Hey guys, Thrift and Be here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a thrift haul. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Brenda, also known as Thrifting Bee on all my social media handles. And by all, I mean Instagram. Yeah, that's about it. Um, and I love to thrift. I have a lot of thrift hauls that I will link in the cards up above. But recently, in this past year, I decided to become a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. And then I expanded to eBay and Mercari. So now I'm settling on all three platforms and I do thrift hauls to show you guys what I pick up um, and what's gonna be going into my closet. So it's been an exciting exciting journey. Um, I started, I think, back in May and it's been going good so far, I think. Um, I don't make a ton of money, but it's a good part-time gig that brings in some extra cash to help my family get out of debt because we are totally on a debt-free journey right now as well. We're following Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps and so it's just, you know, we got to get out of debt. We got to pay the bills. And now my nose is itchy. Ah, my nose always gets itchy when I'm on videos. Anyway, so that is basically it. So if you like thrift hauls or if you like to see what people buy to sell on any of those platforms, make sure to keep watching this video. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and join me on this journey. Um, I'm gonna try to be more active in terms of posting videos. I'll be posting thrift hauls. I can post some of my other processes, how I photographed, how I list. Um, so I'm just gonna be planning what videos I can do. I do work full time, so it's hard for me to film. I try to film either in the evenings, which right now is nighttime, and that's why the lighting isn't the best, um, or I film on the weekend. And with that being said, let's get into the thrift haul. So today was Dollar Tag Thursday, and they actually had two colors for a dollar, the yellow tag and the purple tag. So I went with the intention of buying some clothes for my kids because they need to start getting some winter clothes. And of course, I couldn't help myself, and I picked up some items for Posh, eBay, and Mercari. But I'm going to start with the items that I picked up for my kids, and then I'll go into the items um, that... I'm going to be reselling. She had to double bag these because, well, because it's a lot of stuff. These are the items that I picked up for my kids. Not everything was dollar tag, but kids clothes are usually pretty inexpensive at Goodwill. So the first thing that I picked up was a dollar. It was a yellow tag, and it's just these little unicorn leggings. This is for my youngest. Um, I thought they were super cute and she can wear it under like a dress or just with a cute little top. The next item that I picked up was another dollar tag item and it's these Juicy Couture um, little velvety velour pants. And they're in a bright pink. Super cute. The next thing that I picked up is this Jumping Beans, which they usually sell at Ross. That's where I see Jumping Beans. I'm not sure where else they sell it, but it's just this cute little sweatshirt it's for my youngest. This one was not part of the dollar tag sale, but it was only $2.99. So that's what that looks like. The next thing that I picked up is this super cute children's place dress. I really hope it fits her. If not, I might have to gift it to someone. This was also part of the dollar tag sale. And that's what that looks like. All the little beading is intact. It's a cute little holiday dress. So again, I really hope it fits her. If not, I might list that to sell or gift it to someone. This is also for my youngest. This one was $2.49 and it's just a Gap Kids little knitted sweater. So as I mentioned, she needs winter clothes, so that's what I went to pick up. This was part of the dollar tag sale. It's just some little Mickey Mouse pajama pants and they're that warm material. This was not part of the dollar tag sale, but these were only $1.99 and these are just some H&M little pants. They're like an olive green color and they have gold little fruits on it. Super cute. The next item that I picked up is for my older daughters. Um, I picked up this Asian inspired 
little top and it was part of the dollar sale. They used to have some of these when they were younger and then they outgrew them. So now I picked up another one that they can wear. And I did pick up two. They're a little bit different, um, but both really, really cute. And again, they were only a dollar. I also picked up these leggings. They're like, like a little fur type of leggings. And these are for my older daughter and these were a dollar. I don't know what brand they are. I picked up this leopard print leggings and these are for my older daughters. These ones were also a dollar and they're just like a bell bottom leopard print legging. I heard that animal prints are coming in for the fall season. So I'm making sure that they're on trend, right? I picked up this super cute shirt for my youngest. I don't know if it's a shirt or a dress, but it's a thicker material. It's Cat and Jack, which is a Target brand, and I just thought it was really cute. For the little one, um, I picked up this sweater, which was $2.99, and it's just a little Disney sweater. It's a Rapunzel sweater. Funny story, my oldest used to have a sweater like this, so I always think it's so cute when I find clothing that my older girls used to have. Then I end up keeping a lot of it. I gifted a lot of it away, not thinking that I would ever have another little girl, but I did. Um, this is for my older daughters. And if you don't know, I have twins that are 11, and my little one is going to be three. But she is tall. She's a big kid. Anyway, um, I picked up this for my older daughters. It's just a cute little cropped jacket. Um, it does have shoulder pads, but I think I'm going to take the shoulder pads out. Um, and it's just a cute little crop jacket. I think it'll look super cute on my older daughters. The last thing in this bag is this dress. I don't know how to describe the material. Um, how do I describe this? I don't know how to describe it. Let me see if it has a tag anywhere. It's a size 14 dress. It's a polyester dress, but it feels like something else. Anyways, it's a size 14 dress. It's by Ella Moss, and it's just this cute little dress. I think it'll be great for fall. They can put some leggings and some boots. Super cute. So that's it for those bags, and I say those because it was double bag. Let me show you some of the stuff that I got to resell. So let me move this over. I got piles of clothes everywhere. And then I have my little clothing rack back there. Um, one day, when my office is exactly the way that I want it, I will do an office tour video. One day. But today is not that day, but one day. All right, so here is the second bag. And these are items that I picked up to resell. And just remember my cost of goods is probably a dollar for each item. I think most of the stuff was um, the color tag. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys are these Tahari um, leopard print shoes. They were originally priced at $8, but I got them for a dollar and they are size six and a half. So they're in really good condition. There's a couple scuffs on the heel, but for the most part, they're in great condition. And again, I heard from a few other resellers that animal prints are coming back. So, that's why I picked that up. The only other pair of shoes that I picked up is actually for my youngest. They're not going to fit her right now, but I'm going to hold on to them until they fit her because they were a dollar and I could not pass them up. And what I'm talking about is these little um, boots. They're by Jimboree. They're in a size 3. She's a size 11 right now, so she's got a couple of years before she'll fit them. Maybe by next year, honestly. She might fit them by next year. That kid is going to be tall. Anyway, um, so they're just these cute little boots, size 3. So I'm going to hold on to those for her. The next item that I picked up is just this Silence and Noise dress. And it is a gray dress with black at the bottom. It's kind of like a color block dress. Um, it's in a size small and I believe Silence and Noise is an Urban Outfitters brand. Don't quote me on that but I have a feeling it is. 
The next dress that I picked up is just an H&M dress, but the reason that I picked it up, it's a size small, is because I like the color. I think the color is very fall. It's like a burgundy color, and it's got a sheer, um, sheer neckline, and it's got like a little sweetheart neckline right there. I don't know. I just thought it was really nice, and it was only a dollar. I also picked up this Forever 21 dress. Um, the reason I picked it up is because it's new with tags. However, I'm not going to lie. I actually like picking up Forever 21. I know the resale value isn't crazy good, but I've been able to sell several Forever 21 pieces. And again, this one is new with tags. So it was originally priced at $29.80. It's in a size medium. And this is what it looks like. Really cute. And I like new with tag items, so... Why not? Alright, so this was one of the items that I picked up that accidentally went into the resale um, pile, but it was for my daughters. It's a Forever Me sweater. It's for my daughters. It's just this cute little white crop sweater. And this one was $2.99. I also picked up this shirt for um, my twins. It's Old Navy extra large which is a size 14 in kids and it just says sparkle it's a long sleeve gray shirt cute and then the last thing in this bag is this was $3.99 it was not a dollar and it's just this Libert 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 don't know what that says by Emmanuel I really liked it. If I don't resell it, I might just keep it. It's an open knit cardigan and it's in a size size extra large. So definitely oversized, but I like it. I like it a lot actually. So that's what that looks like. Ooh. And this is the last bag. So I went to the Halloween section and they had some interesting stuff. So I picked up interesting stuff. The first thing that I picked up, and all of these I think were a dollar, is a Zara Trafaluk size small. And it's just this black skirt. Um, and it's got a skirt over it. I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, it's got lining underneath. And it's just a cute little skirt in a size medium, no, size small, excuse me, and if I don't resell this, I might just give this to my daughters, because this is exactly the kind of stuff that they like to wear. My daughters have eclectic style, but I like it. I appreciate it. I also picked up this brand new with tags, a uh, petticoat alley skirt, and it's in a size small. Um, I just thought it was really interesting like this cute little furry burgundy skirt, super soft. I think, I don't know, I like it for like winter and fall. I thought it was super cute. So we're gonna be posting that. I picked this up for my little one. She's been getting into like drawing and journaling. So yeah, she's only two, it's all scribbles, but I thought that was so cute. Um, again, with the animal prints, a lot of animal prints. This is a New York and Company vest, and that's what it looks like in the front, and this is what it looks like in the back. And it's in a size medium. Really good condition. Um, it's got hook closures, so I thought it was really cute and in a size medium. Okay, so I saw this LuLaRoe shirt. Um, and I think I'm going to wear it for Halloween. I think I'm going to be a bumblebee because, you know, thrifting bee. I've been trying to figure out what to be for Halloween, so I figured I could tuck this in to, like, a skirt, like a black skirt, and just be, a, and get some little bumblebee ears and just be a bumblebee. Why not? I could be my own branding, my own spokesperson. But there was two of them, so I picked up both. I might just post the other one. Somebody might want to be a bumblebee with me. Anyone? 
No? Okay. Anyway, I picked up two of those. They're in a size medium. And the thought process is I'm going to be a bumblebee. Here's a cool extra one. Post the other one. See if it sells. We'll see. Um, I did pick up these for myself. I need more slacks for work. I was just telling my friend that our dryer is broken. So right now I can't wash laundry. I'm out of pants. Hence the dress today for work. So I picked up a pair of slacks, but I still have to wash them. So they still have to wait. Anyway, I picked up these slacks um, and they were a dollar. Um, so yesterday my friend and I were at Windsor and we noticed that there's a lot of sparkly stuff happening in the store. So I don't know if it's like a trend, a sparkly glittery trend. Regardless, um, I picked this up from New York Collection. I'm wondering if that's New York and Company. I don't know. I'm going to have to research. It's in a 1X and it's just the sparkly shirt. I think with the holidays, like New Year's and Christmas, people like to wear sparkly stuff. I remember one New Year's I wore like the super sparkly glittery shirt. So hopefully someone gets it. Just a plain black spaghetti strap. Anytime I see spaghetti straps for a dollar, I pick them up. I always wear layers, so voila. And this is a not a spaghetti strap. This is just a sleeveless shirt, a tank top. Both were a dollar. Both were for me. Let's see what else I have. Oh, look at that! Yet another black spaghetti strap. Except this is not like that cotton type material. This is more like a no clue what kind of material this is, but it's a little looser, so that was a dollar. Um, I picked up this shirt for one of my daughters. It's just a Forever 21 tank top. I thought it was cute. I like the blue, so I picked that up. And then the last but not least item was this. It's a Gap size 8 jean dress. So I've been seeing a lot of these and I thought, they're, I think they're really cute. Um, I hope to find one in my size, but it's just this jean or denim, excuse me, dress. And, you know, maybe it's more for like summertime. I don't know. But I thought it was really nice. And for a dollar, I wasn't going to pass it up. In really good condition. Doesn't have a lot of sign of wear. It's a good length. It's got this nice little slit in the front. Um, it's an exposed zipper back, again size 8, so I'm going to list that in my plush front closet. So not a lot of items to resell. Looking at my piles now, I realize we picked up more items for us, but honestly that was the purpose of this trip. I really wasn't intending on buying stuff to resell, but when you're paying a dollar for things, you're not going to leave them behind. But yeah. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like thrift hauls, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am a part-time reseller and I'm hoping to make more reselling related videos. If not, it'll just be thrift hauls. So if you like thrift hauls, come on back, check out my videos. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Say hello. Whatever you want to leave down below, as long as it's nice. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it. Just kidding. Anyway, um, yeah, have a good night.